Hello, my dear students. Welcome to history class. Today, from your history portion, we will be studying with the chapter number three, that is known as the Turkish invasion. So, if you have read the second chapter, known as Advent of Islam, we saw in the last paragraph of the chapter that there were two kingdoms or two cities which flourished after the ninth century onwards, and they were known as Mamagor as well as Ghazni. So first talking about the Ghazni, one of the most important kingdom or the cities that flourished during the 9th to 10th century. So first talking about Muhammad of Ghazni. Muhammad of Ghazni, he was one of the great ruler of the Arabian nation and he was the son of Subutuddin. Muhammad of Ghazni, he ascended the throne in the year of 971 C and he started invading lots of areas by plundering, looting, taking lots of wealth, etc. And that was the main aim of Muhammad of Ghazni. And if we see or if we talk more and more about Muhammad of Ghazni, so Muhammad of Ghazni, he came to India 17 times. It's not a joke, 17 times he came to India because his main aim was to looting, plundering and taking lots of wealth in huge number to his own country and with the wealth he used to just make his armies, his kingdoms in his country, that is Arabian countries, very powerful impact. So next we will be studying about the topic known as Jihad. Jihad is also known as one of the holy war of Muslims and Muhammad of Ghazni being Muslim, he was also following the Islam religion and giving more emphasis on the topic of Jihad. The how to have a holy war between different communities, different nations, but at the end they have to win. So that was the formula, that was the thinking of Muhammad of Ghazni. So Muhammad of Ghazni, he came to India in the year of 971. See, after that, coming for almost 70 times, he plundered, he destroyed many of the Indian cities or towns. And they were, the first you see in the year of 1001 C, he came and he plundered all these five cities, known as Ujjain, Kannauj, Gwalior, Delhi, and even Kalinga. These were the most important five centers or five cities of India, which were actually crushed by Muhammad of Ghazni in order to take lots of his wealth, take lots of his huge amount of booty, and that was his main ambition. Next, we see that Muhammad of Ghazni also destroyed as well as plundered the famous Somna temple, which is which was located at a state known as Gujarat. We all know Gujarat, capital known as Gandhinagar. So he destroyed as well as plundered. And during those times, many Hindu kings they also wanted to go and revolt against Muhammad of Ghazni. But overall, Muhammad of Ghazni, he was very much powerful. He had got huge forces with infantry, cavalry, elephant, and lots of different types of ways, techniques, steps, how to have a crushing defeat over his enemies or rivals. That was his main plan and slowly slowly he started becoming one of the great king during the 9th to 10th centuries during his own reign. Next we talk about the poets. So poets or authors play a very important role writing dramas, plays, poems, prose, etc. So during poem or poets we see that there were two authors known as Fidosi who wrote one of the famous book known as Sanama emphasizing overall the scenario that how Muhammad of Ghazni gave a lot of his tricky ideas when he invaded India 17 times, destroying, plundering, writing everything by this poet called Fedosi. Next poet was known as al who was also one of the great poets, had got lots of knowledge, intellectual person, and even he wrote Taik Ihid, which mainly focuses on the culture on the lifestyle that how Muhammad of Ghazni he also had got a lot of impact over the Indian subcontinent or Indian states, cities as well as towns and that was his main aim. So overall if we talk about the Turkish invasion we see mostly about the Muhammad of Ghazni with all his plans, with all his execution, how he wanted to crush down all the Indian states. But one thing I would like to tell you that Muhammad of Ghazni did not have any such kind of intention to come to India and establish his empire. His aim was just come to India, take whatever he can, wealth, booties, and even after defeating all these kinds of cities with a particular ruler, he took 1300 kilograms of gold. 
note as of 1300 kilograms of gold and 1 million dinar. Dinar is a name of a currency of the Arabian countries. So that kind of amount was hugely taken by this ruler. So this was the overall scenario as well as the summary wise with your third chapter, Turkish of Invasion. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay healthy.